Welcome back everyone to another video. Season 2 of Battlefield 2042 releases tomorrow. And in this video we're going to go through everything that will be available tomorrow. So obviously it's going to be one new map, one new specialist, a new vehicle. We're going to get some new weapons, a new gadget, some fault weapons, some more Battlefield Portal weapons, a new feature, and obviously a new battle pass. So you can play tomorrow at 8 a.m. UTC, which I believe is 9 a.m. UK time. So that's when the update officially goes live. But the battle pass and all that good stuff will be later in the day, which is uh, 1 p.m. in the UK. So when season two is available, you can jump straight into Stranded, which is the new map available through 24 seven playlist for both Conquest and Breakthrough. So let's take a closer look at the new map, Stranded. So we'll be heading to Panama, the desert lake drained of water. You can fight around and inside a beached container ship. So they've built Stranded from the ground up to be a smaller level with a dedicated CQC space. It's split into three spaces. You've got north and south spaces, which are more open, while the central space is where you can expect the chaos to take place. On the south side, there's a tall tower which lets you move across the level while avoiding combat. There's also a path below the ship which connects to north and south spaces. This lets you traverse without having to go inside the ship. There is no flags on top of the ship as they want the main focus for Stranded to be on CQC and inventory play. And on this map, no vehicles will be available in Breakthrough, but Conquest will have all the vehicles available. So there's an overview of Stranded take a closer look at where each flag is located in the ship it may feel like metro or locker like we we used to which i hope dice release for us operation metro such a good map and it's just chaos which i love so the new battle pass it brings you 100 new tiers of hardware cosmetics and play card items to earn all new gameplay content such as the new specialist weapons and vehicles are all available as part of the free tiers while the premium tiers gives access to further cosmetic rewards so there's a look at the new specialist crawford it's available tier 4 and as this new specialist you can deploy his mounted falcon to support your team and lay down solid defense it's a stationary minigun that lays down immerse firepower and is particularly effective against infantry and light vehicles and his trait is cash points, replenish gadget ammo for friends that you revive. So the new vehicle, the EBLC Ram, a fast and highly maneuverable armoured and attack vehicle designed for hit and run strikes on the enemy. It also comes with the ability to place a spawn beacon on the battlefield on which any member of the friendly team can deploy. It is also equipped with an active protection system to intercept incoming anti vehicle weaponry. So, new weapons we have the AM40, it's intended for close quarter combat. It has strong performance in short range combat while having an increased damage fall off versus other assault rifles. The Advances is the next new weapon. We also have the PF51, equipped with a P90 magazine. This originally semi automatic weapon has the ability to fire in full auto to maximize its personal defense capabilities while sacrificing ammo efficiency. It's lightweight and perfect for combat over minimal distances. The new gadget, the concussion grenade. Upon detonation, this grenade temporarily disorients any enemies caught in its blast radius. Useful for flushing out hostiles that have dug into defensive positions. I can see this being annoying, but it'll be fine, I, I guess. But anyway, the new feature is assignments. Assignments are missions that allow you to unlock new hardware such as weapons or the gameplay content from a previous season. You can browse the assignment for all unlockables via the collection screen to see which criteria you need to complete. They are permanently available so you can work towards unlocking them at your own pace. Two new fault weapons for this season, the M16 and the M60. They've improved the home menu. So if you look at the home menu now, you can see all of the modes available right there on one screen. So it's easier to select and play whichever mode you want to. And also Rush is staying as a permanent available game mode, which is great. Other than that, there's just a bunch of bug fixes, which I'm not going to go through because there's so many. 
But if you want to see them yourself, uh, you can check out the patch notes on the EA website. But anyway, that's everything I've mentioned that's coming in Season 2, which is tomorrow. So we've got a new map, a new specialist, new vehicle, new weapons, new gadgets, new fault weapons, some more battlefield portal weapons, new feature, and a brand new battle pass for you to complete. And of course, we're going to get the, the weekly challenges again as well, which helps you progress the battle pass. But anyway, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.